Alright, so here we are, we just got the scales, trailer, pounds and pounds in. So that's uh, less than I expected, honestly. We've got the trailer is quite full right now. Let's take a look at the, the hitching situation, make sure everything's still good. Been on the road for uh, about an hour and a half now, I guess. So uh, I had to take off my spare tire carrier in order to be able to turn left. And if that hasn't been off in a while, you're going to wish you had taken it off. And uh, I broke it. And I had to slide down the whole way. And then if you've got a, uh, an adjustable height hitch, you're going to have some issues because of the way the uh, bumper is built. You can't really go up any higher than that. So luckily that's pretty much just neutral in that position. Out good. I put on a new uh, breakaway switch. It was like an extra two dollars for the full switch, rather than just buying the cable, which was rusted on mine. One thing I found out was that the uh, previous buyer had been putting load range C tires on this trailer instead of B. But luckily, with the weight, I don't have anything to to worry about there. And, uh, when we get to the destination, we'll take a look at how much stuff is in here. Like I said, I was quite surprised that uh, we were not overweight by a large amount. I would have put a lot more stuff in here. I have left the back five feet of the trailer empty because I was getting a bit nervous about how much I put in here. It was all full of books and personal belongings. So uh, anyway, just an update. So we've got the uh, five inch lift on the front and a 4 inch lift on the back of this from Weltech Designs. The vehicle dropped maybe an inch when I put the, the tongue weight on it. The tongue weight's not too bad, apparently. Then uh, the height seems to work pretty good with the vehicle. The toe is nice. I've just been driving at uh, the speed limit. I don't really want to go any faster than that. The brake controller is uh, doing good. I installed that yesterday. Like I said, that took most of the day to do that. And uh, yeah, the vehicle handles well. If not anything, the front axle is handling a bit better with uh, what I believe to be more weight on the front of it. It's not shaking. That's been a problem I've been having that I feel is a tire issue, a well tech designs issue. I still got to work that out. The soft shocks are doing okay. I'm glad I don't have the uh, special leaf springs in this. I kind of like the factory springs especially for towing because it just it didn't drop very much they're just firm so that's uh, pretty cool so yeah I got to get back on the road so if I just uh, film this briefly all right so during the video when I had the van and the trailer hitched together I said I'd show you what I had in the trailer at the time so uh, I basically have five skids of stuff in here I got plastic skids that don't have the bottom bracing if you use the wood skids they can be problematic if you're lifting them with a stacker or something like that. So that, this style is not so good because uh, the wood gets in the way. So the plastic ones don't have that issue. They're probably not as strong. They're probably a little more flimsy. If you got wide forks, you should be okay. So for plastic bins, I don't recommend any of these bins. You can see that the lids are not very strong and they collapse. And uh, as far as uh, cardboard boxes go, you can get them at U-Haul or Home Depot or wherever. Or your local moving company will have them as well. These are wardrobes that have uh, hangers and stuff in them. So when you buy your tape, buy the 3M tape. The uh, cheaper tape does not stick very long. These bins are probably the best. They don't collapse. These are kind of soft, they're not very good. You can see the these bins here. They can take a lot of weight and they stack together nicely, but they lose, there's a bit of wasted space because of their design. I wouldn't recommend the Rubbermaid bins. I probably have some down here. These ones are the absolute worst. They just collapse under their own weight. You can't even stack them too tall because they just don't have any uh, strength in them. A plastic bin there. 
It's a bit better than these ones, but still, I wouldn't recommend any of that. So this trailer is pretty neat. For whatever reason, when you go inside, the thing doubles in size. So it's uh, got a ton of space in there. And if you look at the weights that I, I'm going to post, actually I'll show you the uh, scale slip here. I was only 300 pounds shy of being overweight for the gross vehicle weight. It, this, uh, these two numbers here add up to 9,300 pounds and the vehicle is only good for 9,600. And uh, it basically took 400 pounds off my front axle and added 1,000 pounds to my rear axle. Then the trailer wasn't carrying much weight. I had a, a lot of tongue weight by the looks of it. So if I had loaded stuff rearwards a bit, that would have helped. But like I mentioned, I had about five feet of empty space in the back of the trailer. I was not sure of how much weight I had in there, but it turns out I was, uh, I could have handled another 3,000 pounds if it was organized well. So anyway, next uh, trip will be full of equipment and then uh, furniture goes in the trailer last and then the furniture just stays inside of there. So thank you for watching.